I'm going to show you how to duplicate the left or right channel into a stereo track for iMovie 11. What I have open here is my project and the timeline of the project. When I play this clip, what happens over here on the levels for the audio, you know, this is actually the, the channels coming through in the voice and the, the sound, the left one is just getting a, you know, a little hum or something off the camera probably. But it's a, it's a mono source through a lavalier wired microphone. And so what we want to do is duplicate this whole timeline with audio. So let's do that. Notice I've got an opening that does have stereo. So those are equal over here, or relatively equal, left and right channels. And the same for the closing. So I just want to take this whole track and export it. From the share menu, you're going to be able to export using QuickTime. Make a quick little folder, and we're going to use Audacity. So we're going to bring in this example. And I'll just call it mono, because we know what the source is. And under the export options, we want this to be sound to AIFF. I'm going to use the most recent settings and throw this in here. Exporting the project doesn't take very long. Um, for us, it was relatively simple. So we're going to go to Audacity. And if you don't have Audacity, just do a Google search. And it's a free audio editor and recorder. So in Audacity, we're going to go get our file. And there's our file. Open it up. And notice it brought in two tracks. So on the front end and the end, um, on the book ends, we've got a stereo track. In the middle, the majority of the audio is the cartoonist talking, and that is what we want to have on both channels. Notice I just chose tracks and stereo track to mono. That will bring both of them into one track, and now we have a true mono track. I guess I just want to make a you know copy of this. So I did Command C. Okay, once we have our audio track, and it's one channel, mono. Now we can create a new track. So add audio track. If you get into shortcuts, you can use Shift Command N on the Mac. So here's our new track. Now I'm going to just paste it in here. So I'm going to use Command V for me and on the Mac. And now here's our stereo track, which we can play. And notice we've got line or levels left and right. We do want to go and do one more thing and make sure that this is called left channel and this one is called right channel. They're both the same. You can make them left or right, however you want to do it. But this way you're clear for the export and the import process coming up next that everything's taken care of. So now if you want to save this, you could save it. I'm going to export the file. But notice again, it's AIFF. This is Apple. Again, if you're using something else, you could use a different format. But for, for me on the Mac, it works great. And now I'm going to say save. It's going to do its little configuration after I ignore this edit metadata. Don't need to worry about this for me. If you're worried about it, use it. For me, I don't need to put in any of that information. There, we're done. Okay, I can pretty much close Audacity, but again, if you're... Now back in iMovie, we want to bring that file in the first time you drag and drop a folder with audio tracks, it will create the folders directory for you. Remember to grab the folder, not an individual audio file. So now we have our example mono to stereo, and we want to put that into our project. And I just want the whole thing to be green because I want it to line up and be part of it. It's from the exact clip. We haven't edited it. We won't edit it again. We just want to drop it in there and then it'll, everything will line up as it should. Now one more thing that you can do is either pull this level down, all the way down to 0%, or we could ignore that. And we can go in here, select the clip, right click, but in here we can detach audio. If we detach the audio, then we can select it independently 
and blow it away. And now we have okay, what we our stereo left, left and right channels working as they should. So I hope this helps and notice that we can eliminate all of our other audio tracks. We don't need them anymore. Just make this so it fits in one. Now we've got our single audio track. Everything comes in here. It's consistent exactly the way we want. Okay, what we'd like to do first Start to finish, everything's matched up stereo.